Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Blue Randomized Puzzle. In today's episode, we are heading through Diglett's Cave. We've already got an encounter there, so we can't re-encounter. But we are heading back to Pewter City, and this is probably one of the earliest and easiest ways to get back there if you missed something. Which I probably have with hidden items, but quite frankly, IDGAF. Ooh, fairy. Which is terrible in this game. Because there's no fairy typing, so it's just a plain normal type. It's got decent stats, but then you've got to find a moonstone, which in the randomizer, good luck. I mean, you'd probably have to make a guide of all the, um... Oh, not the Kaveri. You'd have to probably make a guide of all the hidden items and go pick all the hidden items up and hope that the randomizer has picked a moonstone for one of those random items. I don't know if it does. Because remember... Normally, you you just wouldn't get one. You wouldn't get Master Ball, would you? You wouldn't, you wouldn't get Master Ball, but I can get multiple Master Balls as the randomizer, so it's not picking... It's not like it's, it's moving things around, you know, and saying, like, oh, this is here, this is here, this is here, this is here. No, it's completely generating a random new set of items for you in the randomizer, so... You might never get a Moonstone. It's the reason Gen 2 can be a pain in the ass, because you may never get a Leaf Stone, you may never get a Fire Stone, a Water Stone, you may not get any of them ever, and you are just... Bumped. Anyway, we have cut. Um, this cut bush right here, which you may or may not remember because I didn't really play it at the time. Now you have to actually press start, go into your menu, go into your Pokemon, go in there and press cut. If you talk to the bush, nothing happens. Just as there's a bush. They haven't invented the ability to talk to it to activate the HM at this point in time. So why don't we come to Pewter City? Well, first things first, I can stop up on potions. Stock up on potions, stock up. On potions, we don't have many. I'm gonna buy five, I think we just need five, right? If I go to sell, I can see. How many do we have? Eight. We need two more. There we go. Thank you. Just so I've got ten of those again. Comes in handy. I am going to buy an escape rope, thinking about it. Because we're going to be doing rock tunnel afterwards. And having the ability to escape from rock tunnel is actually very handy. Um, we're going to come up here. The reason we're going to come up here is because if we go up here, you may notice there's a cut bush right there. And the reason we're going to go into this cut bush... Oh, so I'll show you. If I just talk to it, look. Nothing's happening. So I have to go. I don't even think it's a bush no more. Just cut. Cordyceps just cutting everything in half. Although I'd imagine that Cordyceps will just eat the tree. And if we talk to this gentleman right here, he says, This chunk of Amber has Pokemon DNA. No one believes me. Could you go revive it? And I say, Yes. Also, if you talk to this guy, he just tells you nothing. And this guy is the guy who charged you to go inside the museum, which has absolutely nothing. Now, you can go back through Mount Moon again if you feel like it. I think there's a hidden item here, isn't there? I've got a feeling there is. Let me just have a quick look. I'll have a quick look. I was wasting a bit of time. Don't worry. Ignore me. Ignore me. The reason I'm doing this is because I think in... Is it... Is it Eevee and Pikachu? Pokemon, let's go Eevee, let's go Pikachu. There's an item there. I don't know, it just bugged me out to think there was one there. Uh, but that's it, we came here literally to get the prehistoric DNA, which is normally an Aerodactyl fossil, but obviously we um, it, we don't know it's a randomizer, it could be absolutely anything, it could be flipping Porygon or something, I don't know. It could be something absolute trash, it could be a flipping Butterfree, I don't know. We're going to deposit, a little Amber, sorry I'm using speed up again to go to the bottom, so in case there's anything, nope there's nothing, right cool, we're all good. We're all good, brother. Let's do a quick heal. I don't think I had any damage, but just in case I forgot to do it. But I'm going to speed that up as well so you don't have to wash it. There we go. Nice and easy. See, having to speed up is so nice because then these little stupid things like this, I can just go boop, that boop, speed up down here. Same as me recording time. I don't have to go and edit, like, oh, let me edit this out. Let me edit. No, I just go boop, and it's there. It's like boop, done. <laughs> so, let's go and talk to the man in here. And he's gonna go, I'm Professor Oak's aide. Oh no, he's not the aide. Oh, he's the normal one. He's just dressed like a Professor Oak's aide. He's the guy who wants to trade. This guy normally trains an Abra for a Mr. Mime. What are you trading today? You are trading a Jolteon for an Omanite. No, I'd rather have the Jolteon myself, to be honest. Uh, so we've got to cut this. And there's a root house here for some reason. Even only one of these opens the door. And there's a Professor Oak's aide. And what, how many do I need? 
10 kinds of Pokemon. Have you seen 10 kinds of Pokemon? Yes, I have. Oh, great, you've seen 18 kinds of Pokemon. Here's Ocean 5. Um, this is why I go into the game editor and I tick things off, to be fair. Because we do need to get this. Oh, it's not everyone can learn it. Oh, they just all could learn car. Okay. Uh, who do we want Flash on? I'll say Slick Back. Because he already has Sand Attack. Flash is kind of the same thing. And you might say, yeah, but you had Whirlwind. Revive, that's cash, I guess. Max Ether. Good for the late game. I think that's it, isn't it? Is there another item? No, there's not. Okay, well, let's speed up up here. Whee! I love speed up. Speed up to there. I'm going to cut again. Um, there would normally be another Moonstone here, by the way, because I think you get two Moonstones per game. You get one here and one in Mount Moon. So you can have a Clefairy and a Jigglypuff, a Neo King or a Nidoqueen, Queen, but you can't have all four, you can only have two. Pick your two. You have two the same one if you're an idiot. Look at those yups. Look at those yups. Bruglossus yups. Anyway, we're going to run from you. The only thing we have to be careful for is there is going to be a level 30 encounter in here somewhere. Um, so if it's you, I don't mind. Because all you can do is rap, thunder, wave. Whatever. It's another Sea King. Because remember, when you're normally in here, there are Diglets. There's loads of Diglets, and they got up to like 23, 24. And then there's like a Dugtra encounter, which is like 30 to 35, I think. <clears throat> And if they get randomized to something really strong, it can be very bad for us right now. Beep, beep. Clefairy's fine. We haven't run into whatever it is. I don't want to run into whatever it is, by the way, because we can't catch it anyway. And it will just serve to just try and kill me. And we're getting so many cows right now. Also, Jutini looks so different in this game. Like, it looks like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Like, why has it got, like... Why has it got, like, a deer head? And it has a little red glowing nose, like, well, white glowing nose, I guess, technically. I don't know why I'm thinking of it as red. Um, and then it has a segmented belly. Are you the 30? No, you're the 21. You're fine. Hardcore Pajoto on Pajoto action. Sorry, my friend. You will not be taking part in that. Right, we've made it through there. We did it. We survived. We thrived. We made our way downtown. Um... You're the Spiro guy, ain't you? Dude, stop. Yep, he's a, oh, he's a thingy guy. So there's a guy here who wants to do a trade as well. Um, this guy right here, though, is kind of different. Oh, this girl. Do you have a Metapod for a Venom now? I don't have a Metapod, but I would trade you it for a Venom. This is the girl who gives you Farfetch'd. I think she says trade a Spiro for a Farfetch'd. You can catch Farfetch'd later on. It's not a version exclusive. We're going to do one more thing before we take on the gym. Do not worry, I'm not stored. We're going to talk to this gentleman. And, um... I can't tell if that's supposed to be a sock puppet on the pictures behind him of Godzilla, or it's like some sort of African grey parrot or something, but it just looks hilarious. Anyway. I share the Pokemon fan club. I have collected over 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So... Did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Good, then listen up. My favorite Rapidash, it cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yeah, it's stunning, kindly, I love it. Hug it when uh, sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oh, no, look at the time, I kept you too long. <laughs> Thank you for hearing me out, I just wanted you to have this. It's so creepy, like. He has a fear that flies him, so he does need a bicycle. So we got bicycle. Well, we don't. We have a we have a voucher to acquire a bicycle, um, which is in Celadon. No, Celad no, it's not Celadon. Oh my god, it's Celadon. Oh my god, Cerulean. There we go. There's too many similar names like Viridian, Vermilion. Like, bro, why are you doing this, bro? I don't understand any. There anyway, we go up here. <sighs> and we can do the West Gym in the game. So first we're going to fight these three gentlemen. They will require some, some, some skill, I, per I perceive. A cloister, 
Okay. Immediately swapping out. Uh, Mr. Sausage, I guess. Reason being that he has a ro 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 beam. He went for withdraw. Okay, he has a Aurora Beam, which is super effective on flyers. So I am not staying and getting Aurora Beam back by the Cloyster. Instead, I will two turn double kick him and see what I go on with the team. Ooh. There we go, nice and easy. An Ivysaur. Remember what happened to that Bulbasaur last time we hit with Leech Life? Well, that was with a, uh, a Paris. We are now a Parasect. Oh no! Five damage. So bad. He just, <laughs> just imagine just pick, just pick the Ivy Sorrow up. Bang your like mouthpiece into like a straw, just <laughs> throw its body away. It's like, ah, refreshing leech life. I feel whole again. Right, this guy. He's good with electricity. No, I'm out, brother. Trust me, you're not the main character. We ain't focusing on you. Oh, yeah! He's a rocker, but for some reason, he looks like he's holding a baton. Whip? Like, he's got the whip thing coming out, but it's like a baton. Like, is he back? Is he backwards handling a whip, basically? Like, is he holding, like, the whip part of the whip and the handle is sticking out the other end like an absolute idiot? <laughs> Because apparently there was a theme, I don't know how true this is, but I heard there was a theme in original um, Pokemon that all the bad people use whips to train their Pokemon. Like, they're literal trainer trainers, like like lion tamers, they're like, they whip their Pokemon to make them do shit. And like, all the good guy characters don't have whips, but like they actually just train their Pokemon with love and affection. But then like, from Gen 2 onwards, they just cut all the whip shit out, they're like, no, 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 no. Maybe it was the pushback from uh, like Peter and stuff. Yeah. But um, with uh, with with them saying that like, oh, it's cockfighting, it glorifies violence against animals, and everyone's like, no, it doesn't really. Uh, Cordyceps. Look at this boy. He doesn't have the normal like nose thing that Tentacruel has in um, current games. By the way, though. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. As you can see, it's super effective. But it's not quad. It's weird. It's very strange. It's very, very strange. He's going to outspeed me again, though. But is he going to go for that? No, he goes for Poison Sting. Oh, yeah. There's a bit more damage. Oh, almost got him as well. Just crit as we die. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. If you're wondering why I'm not too worried, remember, both of the Snorlaxes are going to be a Parasite. So I'm going to be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit risky biscuit, you know, with this guy, because we're going to 100% get another one. I'd rather not lose him, to be fair. Sometimes you would be a little bit whiskey biscuit. Anyway, do we have everyone at 25 now? Yeah, everyone's at 25. That's fine. We'll keep you going. And this guy says, When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict commanding officer. So this guy served under Lieutenant Surge in an army. And it's Matt. Machoke. This would be perfect if we ever had any goddamn flying moves. I'm hoping that we get a flying... T I'm hoping we get a water TM for Poseidon. And I'm hoping we get a... Hmm. Well, technically, I'd want a nice, a good flying one for a slick back. Would be nice, dual peck or something. Um, and then, like, rock slide. Rock slide would be amazing for um, Wrecker. Oh, that done absolutely nothing. See? Not very effective. So why is it super effective on the, our other boy? Anyway, um... Let's try Poseidon. Poseidon's peck is beastly. For reasons I don't know. I need to get a pillow or something, so I'll stop. I stop sliding backwards. Maybe if I go over here a bit more, so I've got more room. Let me move my camera a bit. There we go. Oh, I've got shit. Oh, yeah, I've got my 
There's been suit hanging up on the door. Look, I have a suit hanging up on the door for like some reason. Oh, you can't really see it because of my mic. There's a suit hanging up there. Um, do that. I'll do that as like a compromise. Because since I bought this new desk, I had to move my room around because this new desk is way wider. No, I've had it for a while now, don't worry. But literally, like, my bed is here. My bed is here. Like, my hand is above where my bed is. I've got, like, this much room between my desk and my bed. It's fuck all. So I can't, like, move back and stretch my legs out. So what I end up doing is sliding down in the chair to, like, get, like, a better position, I guess. I don't know. If I sit here, because the bed ends here, so I, I can kind of go in this little diagonal, diagonally, and be cool. I'm thinking of just doing something with my spare room, making it into like a recording room or something, so I don't have to do it in here no more. I'll just put a desk in there. So I might be getting a new PC as well. You know, my PC's pretty good, it's like 30 90 anyway. Oh, God. I could put this desk in there, get a new smaller desk for here. Because basically my bed before used to run from this wall behind me, the head of my bed used to touch there, and the foot of my bed pointed this way. But because this desk is so much wider this way, it doesn't fit. The corner of this desk will hit the corner of this bed and they don't both fit in the same place. So I've had to turn my bed from this way to this way. So the head of my bed is now there against my windows, and the foot of my bed is right here. Fucking stupid. But anyway, enough about my, my 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 nonsense that I have to put up with for this for this nice desk I have. It's amazing. <sighs> anyway, we're gonna play a game. It's called No There's Only Trash in Here. How to hate yourself in three easy steps. Um So if we look in all these trash cans, eventually one of the trash cans is gonna say Hey, there's a switch under the trash. Turn it on, let's let your open. Now we're playing a game of chance. Because the second switch can be anywhere in a circle. So this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. Even though we've already talked to them, this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Could be the second switch. Any of those could be the second switch. It doesn't matter if you've talked to them before. I'm going to pick this one. Nope. And guess what? The lots are reset. So then we go back to the beginning and we start again. Oh, immediately there's a switch. I'm going to try this one. Nope. Uh, is there again? Okay. That one again? Nope. Oh, no, trash it. No, it's trash it. It's random as hell. There's no way of knowing where they are. And I'm going to give this a couple of tries before I'm basically going to cheat. And you can cheat with the default game as well. This isn't something you have to do with um, playing the game on alternate devices. Uh, I'll go to the one below it. Nope. Alright, there's two more tries, and then, then I'm cheating. Because you have got to be kidding me. Oh, there's a switch. Let's try the one on this side. Nope. One more try. Which is there again. Try the one below it? Nope. Oh, I'm going to cheat on the next one. We've got to find it again, but I'll, 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 I'll show you. The ones when they're on the edges is worse because I think it transfers to the other side. It's like if it's this one, the one above it is the bottom row, basically. It's very, very strange. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Nope. <sighs> nope. So as you can see, we've talked to every barrel so far, so where's the second switch? The second switch doesn't get revealed to now. So what you do is you save your game. I'm not going to be using the save game, but I'm going to be using the reset feature of this thing. Like, hold up, which is basically to do this. Please ignore the fact there is no sound right now. And that it says rotate State 1 in the bottom corner. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk to this one. And of course I get it first time. Second electric lock opened. It was that one. There we go. So if you don't get it, you just... If you're playing on 
you know, standard hardware. Um, I should find that where my Pokemon Blue. My Pokemon Blue's up there somewhere. I've got all my Pokemon in one place. Um, then you. You just reload. Just reload the game and just make your choice again. It doesn't reset because you saved the game to have your first lock open. If it's not that one, try that one. If it's not that one, try that one. But I think because it's this one, where do the other ones go? Like, is the below this, right? Below this has to be this one up here. And I think the one to the left of this would be the one all the way over here. It, get, it gets confusing. But anyway, we did it. We opened the locks. I know we're going to talk to Lieutenant Sergei. Um, who do you want to lead with for this? Because you're a bit injured, so I'm going to switch you out. Uh, I think our best lead is going to be Fang. Hey, kid. What you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I'll tell you, kid, let your Pokemon save me during the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. I'll do the same to you. So yeah, not only is there an army, as we have established, because he's a lieutenant and that guy served under him, there was a war and they used Pokemon as weapons. Oh, hello, Articuno. Um, that's mud. That's mud. Fully mad. Anyway, luck of the draw, Articuno number one. Articuno Zindabad. Um, literally and figuratively, because he is number one of the uh, trio. So I'm sorting out my mic sound. Eh. Articuno is burnt, ironically. There we go, that's a bit better. He's going to peck me, but he does half the damage now because he's burnt. Also, he's going to take damage because he's burnt. And then we've got bang and hit him with the headbutt and just knock him out. He's got a Paris. Are you copying Gary? Did Gary teach you this? Because this guy so far hasn't been earned the title of Blue. Blue's actually challenging. If he's lame, he's Gary. That's the way this works. Or if I just forget. Because, you know. Whatever. He's got the same team as Blue. Uh, do you have anyone I want to use against Ghastly? It would be better. Uh, Cordyceps can't really do shit. No, he can. He's super effective, technically. Yeah, go on, Corsabs. Also, I like how in this game, Ghastly is just a gas cloud with eyes. Like, he's not, like, in the newer games where he's a ball with purple gas around him. Like, he just is a face in gas. Also, I'm confused, thank you. See, look, I'm hitting the bed right now. Like, I'm hitting for... <laughs> turn, I have to go... Ugh, and move around. This is the very, 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 very tip corner of the mattress hits it. Because for a giant guy, I thought it'd be fine, kind of hilarious to have a bed that's incredibly low. Like a normal bed would be probably about another six to eight inches higher than this one. It's like really low down. Like my chair's higher than the bed. Oh no, it's, no, it's probably about the same. If I sat my bed, I'd be the same height. I should do an episode where I'm just sitting on my bed instead of sitting in this chair. Thank you. So I was just talking shit, waiting for it to stop hitting itself in confusion. See, I can't use this, because normal, normal. The only ghost move in the game that does any damage, by the way. And he's one of the only ghosts in the game. The only ghost in the game is Ghastly Haunt and Gengar. They're all the same evolutionary line. There's one set of ghosts. Second form fact. There's three ghost moves in the game. I think Confuse Ray's cast as a ghost in this game. So it doesn't really count. Nightshade, which does damage equal to your level and cannot crit. Um, which is useless. And Lick, which does 20 damage and can paralyze. Great choices. Whoa. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then. Take the Thunder Badge. The Thunder Badge creates your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly any time, kid. Your special kid, take this. Team 24 is usually Thunderbolt. Um, it's Double Slap. Oh, ho. Electricity sure is powerful, but it's useless against ground type Pokemon. So I think they thought that Surge was like a problem. I think they thought that Surge was a problem. Okay. Because Loitin and Surge um, tells you this. And they deliberately put Diglett's cave conveniently next to him. Where you can get a Diglett that is completely and utterly immune 
to his electrical attacks. And you can get a Doug Show that comes at level 30, which means you will absolutely smash his Anus. Or maybe it's the high 20s. It comes at, I know it comes in really high level, and you can just dig, dig, die, dig, die. It's like you just wipe his team. Anyway. Do we really want to give Double Slap to anyone? I don't think we do. Who can learn it first of all? Poseidon don't need it, Fane don't need it. Slickback don't need it, Wrecker don't need it. Like, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it. Oh, I almost forgot. This guy is very important. He is the fishing guru. He simply loves fishing. And you tell him that you love to fish, and he will give you an old rod. The reason you want him to give you his old rod <laughs> is because we gave for encounters. Because we didn't get an encounter in um, Vermilion City. No, oh, five new king. Nice. Uh, what we need to do is sort of to call the steps. We need to do shit. Um, Stun spawn. This is going to be an awkward catch, to be honest, because he's at full health, but he is level 5. We do have 30 Pokeballs, so it's fine. Oh shit, we got them already. Thank you very much. We got Nido King. Drill. Um, it uses powerful tail in battle to smash, constrict, and then break praise bones. Now, New King looks it looks impressive, sounds impressive, but the problem with Nido King is he's like three foot tall. <laughs> so I don't know how many people he's smashing, constricting, and cracking their bones with his tail from. Anyway, his name's Jerry after Jerry the King Lawler, the greatest of all the kings. Although I don't think he'd agree with that statement. We're back, nice Elvis, puppies. So anywhere that we've been that's a town that has water, we can now return to said town and get an encounter. Um, if we're being picky, we could technically go back to Pallet Town right now via Diglett's Cave and get an encounter for there. But we, there's no water in, in Veridian City. There's no water in Pewter City. So you'd literally be going all the way through Diglett's tunnel, uh, tunnel again just solely to get... Oh, yeah, we can't go through there. Just solely to get an encounter. Um, for that. By the way, we can early get early saffron in a randomizer if we ever pick up a soda pop, lemonade, or, or whatever it's called, tea. We're going to make our way through here, but I'm mashing the A button to see if we can find a hidden item. It's like the lottery. Like, is there any items on this line? The answer was no. It wasn't. That or I just got really unlucky. Speaking of getting unlucky, let's speed up because we're almost at the end of the episode. Um, and just sort ourselves out. So first things first, let's cut our way back into the town. Whee! Let's go into this nondescript building right here that has a little sign outside because this is the mic shop. He's like, oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. Thank you, we've got a bicycle now. Which now means we can hear this music and go faster. Do -do 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 -do. And we can go in here and we can do some little selling. We can sell this revive. We go to this bottom real quick. We can sell this because it's double slap and I'd rather have a thousand poker dollars than double slap to most. Then we can go into the PC and drop some of our little bits and bobs off. And you may be thinking, oh no, there is no water. There is no water here, but I believe. Oh, you're an asshole. I hate NPCs that walk around. Um. So we're going to keep the old rod and the bicycle on us. Do we need the bicycle? I guess so. We'll keep the old rod on us for now. Because the next route, we just get encount two encounters. We get one in the rock. We get one in... The, mm, I'm going to put it away after this. But if we go in here, weirdly... And you go and talk, go up to these, you know these statues right here that we never talked to that tells you that the gym leader's Misty, Red and Blue beat her. For some reason, if you use your old rod in here, you can use your old rod and it will catch a fish. 
I'm going to count this as a Cerulean encounter. I still a Nido King. Oh, it's a duplicate, so I'm going to say that's fine. Oh, because I think it's always a Magikarp because it's not the thing. When we get a better rod, we can come back and we can come back and see. So if they're always going to be Nido Kings, then I guess I see why we're going to put this away. Sorry. There we go. So let's quickly go here and heal because we're over 30 minutes by a couple of seconds. Okay, speed up his king. Right, let me just go through here because it's quicker. No, uh, where's cordyceps? Cut cordyceps, please. Boop. Boop. Power speed up. Right, so I'm going to cut this bush. Walk over here so that I'm safe. Save the game. And that will be it for today's episode. So thanks for watching today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. In tomorrow's episode, we will be going through this route and making our way to the Rock Tunnel. We will get two encounters here before we get to Rock Tunnel and then one in Rock Tunnel itself. When we get to the other side, we will be in Mammoth Town. I don't know if we do that in one episode, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, thank you for watching. And for now, goodbye.